Okay, so we asked in the last videos, are there triangular arbitrage opportunities on PancakeSwap V2? And I think the answer to that is definitely yes. So I'm going to show you an example of one right now, right? So if I take a thousand BAFE, or in fact, let's make that 10,000 BAFE, I will get MRAT 6106 out of that. If I assume that I get that output and I put that into the next leg of the trade, I should get WBNB of 0 0.0000, etc. So let's copy that. And let's take that and put it into the input here and trade it back for BAFE. So my 10,000 BAFE turns into 253, uh, sorry, 2.5 million BAFE, right? So that's a huge, that's a huge increase. Now, granted, BAFE is not worth much in US dollars, right? If you actually did this and added another two legs to the trade. So if you took um, BUSD and you traded it for BAFE, at the start of the leg, and then you did the triangular arbitrage and ended up with all your BAFE and traded it back for BUSD, you'd actually make a 4% loss. So the takeaway here, by the way, is that first of all, there are definitely triangular arbitrage opportunities that are not major coins. That's for sure. They definitely exist. If you hold BAFE right now, probably, and remember anything I tell you in this video is not advice, Probably it's a good idea to go onto PancakeSwap V2 and multiply your money. But the reality is BAFE is so worthless compared to US dollar that when you turn it back into real spending power in terms of what you can buy today, it's not that worth it. When I looked at it yesterday, I found it because I was developing the tool and I've had such great progress. And there's so many things I can't wait to show you in this video, which I'm going to go into now, like how I found this opportunity. Last night when I was looking at it, there was an opportunity. In fact, I even recorded a video. I just didn't publish it. So I could give you a cut of that video. But you can take $10 and you could turn it into $30. And that's great. It's gone now. It's closed. And that's okay. I wanted to get the tool more finished um, to do a proper video again. I wasn't happy with it. But the reality is there is triangular arbitrage there. So I put it on the platform. And the reason I put it on the platform is because it works. And I think it's really cool and I want to use it and play with it. And I know there's a lot of you out there who are like me, who are just, you know, they're interested in where are the gaps, where are the holes, where can I get an edge, right? I, I know that the mainstream stuff doesn't work, right? They, they get to this place of, you know, I, I'm trying to learn more about trading and I'm, I'm interested in this. And you're a lot like me. You're not a full-time trader. You're just interested in what actually works. And so this is one of those things that I love. You know, the math is... And I'm quoting from, you know, somebody who, who works with Tom Sosnov. But if you find arbitrage, the math says do arbitrage because there's no speculation required. That's not to say there's no risk with, ar with arbitrage, right? Anybody watching this video, anybody, I recommend do not do arbitrage. Do not sign up to Crypto Wizards. Like ar arbitrage is hugely risky. Now, with that out the way, let's talk about the cool stuff. So for example, we said last time I was showing you a tool that wasn't yet on the platform and it looked promising, but we said, look, we need like PancakeSwap or we need Trader Joe. Um, I actually looked at Trader Joe, so thank you for that recommendation. So let's actually have a look at PancakeSwap. So if I select PancakeSwap, you can see that those opportunities just appear. And the reason why it's not running in the browser anymore is because there's an algorithm that's running in the cloud and it's looping through loads of coins every three minutes. So it's basically doing this update like all the time. It's doing all the crunching for you so that you can just come here and the opportunities are just there and they're always the current ones. They're always the latest, most up-to-date ones. Um, and then to actually get into the depth. So for example, if I select this and I want to go into the depth, I hit that calculate button and now it's going to the blockchain and trading it. We're not trading it with real money. It's trading it. It's getting the quotes and saying, okay, what do I really get? So here, you know, the mid-level prices, think of them as you're getting 2.2%. When you actually go and trade this for one BUSD, because this is the starting leg, right? So trade one BUSD. So I'm, I'm saying one. And if I want to change that amount here to 10, I could. But if I put one in, it's going to give me, you know, um, essentially a 1% return. So if I take, you know, $10 uh, and put this in, what do I get back? Does that eat into the depth? Yes, it does. Okay, I only get 0.3%.
So, you know, it's pretty cool. A lot of them are going to be red, right? So I'm just going to click down. I'm just going to go down here and I'm just going to click on tons of these um, just to let them calculate while I'm talking. And then I'm going to scroll up and show you, you know, show you what some of the outputs look like. And in fact, I'm going to find one at the, near the bottom that has some ridiculous percentage. So let's let's look at these ones at the bottom that have stupid percentage returns. Um, so if I scroll now up to the top again, you can see, right, it's just telling me 3.6% for this one is actually 2.1%. Right, let me up the game to $10. Let's see what it does. And I love the tool. I love it because it's just so quick. Like I don't have to go punching things in. I don't have to go spending hours hunting. This is cool. So 4.1% is 3%. Again, let's whack that up to 10. So this is 10 ass we're starting with. I don't know what that means in dollars, but it's still 3%, right? Let's now try 100. <laughs> you can see how I do this. And I know a lot of you are much better at this sort of thing than I am. Um, but you can see how I'm doing it. So in fact, yes, ass, there is a legitimate triangular arbitrage opportunity. If you go over here to pancake swap, you can punch it in. Now, the important thing here, in fact, let me use BAFE as the example, right? So BAFE. Um, you can see there's still an opportunity showing for BAFE. It's not as high as it was yesterday, but it's still pretty good, uh, especially if you hold BAFE, right? So let me just run this calculation. So let's say I run this and it's telling me there's an 800% opportunity with BAFE, which we've just seen is real, right? We've just gone and multiplied BAFE like magnificently on PancakeSwap V2. Now, let's say I want to go and see this. Let's test it with 100, right? So I'm thinking, yeah, 100 BAFE, right? I actually did it with 10,000 earlier as an input. So we're going to put 100 BAFE in and see what that comes out. It's still a huge percentage, right? The reason for that is because BAFE is pretty much worthless to US dollar. But that aside, now, the important thing here and something you can do here is make sure you're using the contract that is here on the triangular arbitrage opportunity. Right. So if you double click on this, you can copy that contract, go into, you know, pancake swap. I might have said Uniswap earlier. That's fine. When you paste it in, it should give you the token. Right. That's how you know it's the right token. I noticed one with a sat token and it looked really, really good or some other token. And then I was like, wow, it, you know, it looks great. And then I realized there were two tokens that had the same name and two different contract addresses really dangerous, right? You have to be careful. Arbitrage is really dangerous. So even though it's, you know, guaranteed in terms of there's no speculation, it doesn't mean you can't lose all your money, you can still lose all your money. So here's MRAT, for example, so if I click on MRAT, or I click on uh, shrimp, you know, it'll, it'll put the one on the right on the bottom. And it'll put the one on the left on the top. If I click on trade one or trade two, or trade three, for all of these what I call tickets, it shows the actual pair pull address. So it's just giving you any, you know, if you're one of those people like me who's interested in going onto Etherscan or BSC scan, etc., you can actually pop those addresses in and, and have a look at them, which is really useful. So, so this is great. And I think a lot of you who are, you know, on crypto as it's already, I know you'll be looking at this and I know any opportunities that are here will get closed. So, you know, please, if you're watching this video now and you like this tool's great, I want to sign up to Crypto Wizards. You know, I want to use this tool. I want to make money with it. Don't sign up to Crypto Wizards. Like, just don't, honestly, because there are people that have already signed up. Arbitrage is not scalable. So if you sign up to Crypto Wizards just for this tool, not for these other tools like Zscore, everyone can look at Zscore, everyone can look at that. But if you're signing up for like this Arbidex tool, which we've named this Arbidex for arbitrage for the for DEX, or try scan, for example, there are people that are already looking at these, right, there's people that are already looking at some of these, and doing what they need to do to capitalize on it. So it's very unlikely you're going to come here now that I'm doing this video, and people are aware of the tool. If you're watching this like a week from now, it's very unlikely you're going to get any great opportunities here unless you turn up and you hit refresh and there's something no one saw because of just when you turned up, right? So don't sign up to Crypto Wizards for this tool. If you're going to sign up to Crypto Wizards, these are the tools like the strategy exploration, the back trader, um, you know, the Z score. These are the tools that for me are like the go to, right? Especially this Z score one right now, there's nothing significant for me to look at. But I'm often on here and I often see things. 
Uh, I'll do a separate video on this because this has been way upgraded since the last version. Now looking at Uniswap over here, we can see there's opportun opportunities for that too. So we can just go and do the same thing. Sometimes the token is not tradable on Uniswap and it'll come up with an error and just tell you, you know, I couldn't get you the price for this one. That's great. Then, you know, don't waste your time. Again, this will just do the hard work for you. So here, this 1.6% in reality is 0.1%. You can already tell that Uniswap, it's much less profitable than PancakeSwap. Seriously. Um, but the thing here is there are opportunities. Now, the gas fees, of course, will make it not worth it. But there are opportunities here. And if you hold any tokens or you want to just speculate that a price will get closed and you want to trade on the idea that an arbiter will come in and you want to trade on the back of that, you know, there's all sorts of ways you can use information for your trading. Now, the way it's working for Uniswap is very different to the way it's working for PancakeSwap even though the blockchains work in a very similar way, right? BSC is a lot like Ethereum. So the way it works on Uniswap is the same as I showed you when I showed you behind the scenes on code. Okay, so it's going, what it's doing is it's going through GraphQL, it's going through the subgraph on thegraph.com and fetching the Uniswap V3 mid prices, looking at all of those, carving them up and going, here's the pairs that could be triangular arbitrage, looking at those and going, here's the ones that show they are potentially arbitrage that are over one and a half percent. So I, I, I put into the algorithm a minimum of one and a half percent, otherwise don't include it here. And it's doing that, you know, every three minutes that's updating. PancakeSwap is different, right? There is no the graph for PancakeSwap, or there is, but it's not usable. And so I had to build an algorithm that would literally go and fetch prices in the cloud and update them every three minutes. So it's it's going through all the coins here with PancakeSwap, ranking them by liquidity, because if it's not liquid, there's probably not much of an arbitrage there. It's just the way these AMMs work. And then it's figuring out, OK, these are the arbitrage potentials. And it's doing the same thing. And it's doing it in a way where it works pretty efficiently and pretty quickly. You can see here, you literally just click on it and it's fetching that data for you really, really fast because it's already pre-run. It's only when you want to go into the depth like I'm doing here where it's not pre-run. So, you know, let me know what you guys think because I was excited to show this to you because it was showing promise before and it was really a challenge for me. It was a challenge for me personally because... I don't know the blockchain inside out yet. You know, I've spent a lot of time reading blockchain smart contract data, working with functions, working with Web3, working with Ethers JS. And every time I hit a new contract like a pancake swap or now a Trader Joe, you have to learn the contract in order to know how to actually make this stuff work. But it's such a rewarding experience, especially from a programming point of view, because I find it I find that crypto and blockchain actually makes me a better programmer. It's actually helping me build skills. So let me know how you feel, you know, based on the progress here. Also, by the way, just very quickly, I've added something at the top here where you can get rid of that left pane. So if you want more space on your page, um, just click that now. Also, once you've been playing with this, if you want to change, you know, your filters, etc., I recommend just clicking this refresh icon. It just refreshes that up in that page and it cleans everything nicely. I find myself using that a lot, for example, when I'm using the machine learning tool over here. Um, just a quick takeaway for you, those of you who are on the platform and following. Hit up in the comments there. I really have been enjoying the comments lately as well. And until the next one, take care and talk soon.